Hi folks, just thought I'd do a quick video, um, something I've discovered, everybody's probably known about this, uh, but Sweet FX for spin tyres, I'm pretty new to Sweet FX, I only really run it on GTA 5, and it never occurred to me that you could run it on other stuff, anyway, I happened to cross this on uh, spin tyres mods dot com and uh, it's a graphical improvement it fiddles about with the direct x so that's the graphics rendering bit of the game and enables you to to basically have different looks as you can see a couple of examples there i'll give you a few more in a minute so mash the download there which gives you this file so you won't look that far you download and you're presented with all this gubbins in here what you want to do is select all of that and drag it over to your game folder which is what i made earlier so this is um it's be Steam, li Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Spin Tires, normal place where you install mods, which I believe mods go in the media file I've learnt in the last hour. <laughs> so there we go. That's right. Never modded Spin Tires before. Anyway, drag and drop all that stuff out of your zip file and bang it into here. It'll create a new sweet effects folder there. And all your settings and stuff will be in there. So that should now give you sweet FX. It is quite um, it can be very advanced in here. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. This comes pre-configured. So I believe, as in my case, I believe SweetFX loads up automatically. You don't have to do anything to it. I shall try that now. Proof of the pudding in that. And it's running in Windows mode. Yes, SweetFX is loaded up straight away. As you can see, I've got a split screen scenario on the go. Let me get out of Steam. That's out of uh, Spin Tires, rather. Uh, yes, and I shall demonstrate that split screen thing. I'll have to find the link to this, but basically there's a sweet effects configurator, which I, I shall put the link in the description below. I can't find it currently. Uh, now download the file, uh, and that gives you this zip file here, sweet effects configurator standalone with sweet effects and some numbers, and then gives you one folder in there. Click on that, um, and you get a folder, two files. That folder is just sweet effects. Ignore that. You want those two files. Now, I think you can put them anywhere. Now, I've chosen, just because I had the window in front of me, I've chosen to stick them in the Steam... Uh, I keep saying Steam. In the Spin Tires <laughs> folder. So here they are, sweet effects config.x, and there should be an any. And there's probably some other files in here that you haven't got at the moment. And they're files that I think are created by the SweetFX config.x. So anyway, we'll click on that. Double click on SweetFX configurator and you open up and you're presented with this rather blank looking window. You want to add game. Spintires.x. Open. And that should, all things being equal, load everything in. Now, I've already run this, so that's why that is enabled. Uh, but I would suggest that you enable split screen initially just to get the hang of what's going on. And also, um, you can either select automatically save on changes, so if you make any changes here, it will automatically save. It's fairly self-explanatory. Right, strange. It seems very glitchy. Slightly, slightly, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So if it doesn't work and spin tires crashes or anything, just keep trying it and try different things. Because I've just had that probably, probably edited it edited it out that's a difficult word to say um and i was um i'd already run this i'd already made sure it worked before i showed it and uh, then it stopped working and i thought well i've not done anything uh, apart from mash that split screen on and off a few times so every time i was hitting launch it'd go oops spin tires was crashing it i might have left that in there so what i did was just remove game so they had nothing in this window again and then add game again which you've literally just seen me do because that's what I've just done and it's just worked so it takes a little bit of experimentation um, but for me I think there'll be some big benefits I don't know but anyway the main thing is scroll lock turns stuff sweet effects on and off so we've got it off got it on and also pause break or the pause button the far top right hand corner of your keyboard should reload the settings Right, so now you can run the two two things side by side. So you're in spin tires, and you can adjust various options here. I've just been playing around with them, uh, and they do just to prove they actually work. I'm on HDR here, 
And let's see whether that's hit pause. There we go. So we've got a little bit more HDR there. Play around with it uh, if you're into graphics. For me, I, I was quite pleased to see this. Kind of like like the the Sweet FX one, the one on the right hand side, because there's going to be a blue tint at night. You know, moonlight and stuff like that. So your colours aren't going to be sort of that realistic. The right hand side looks sort of more night timey than the left hand side. The blue tint's not on everything. It's really difficult to tell, but. The lights look more like their lights rather than just a, a gentle glow. Bearing in mind at night, a flashing beacon would be pretty blinding like that. Yeah, I quite like that. Anyway, hopefully this I can compact this video down into something that's relatively quick. And if you're not happy with it or you change things in such a way that it's, you can't get back uh, to stock, just, well, replace all the files. And an important thing, I suppose, would be to keep the zip file handy in a place where you know it is because then you can open it up and you can quickly see all the files that are to do with SweetFX as opposed to the configurator but the SweetFX files within spin tires so you can if you want to if you don't if you're not happy with it if you don't like it it's, or it's a bit of a performance hit you can go to your spin tires folder and uh, you can just pick those files out, files out and delete them and it won't break your game because I don't uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure none of these files that you download for SweetFX replace anything in the game. So you can back up if you want. I would advise backing up. I've not backed up. Um, and I kind of work on the basis that if if all else fails, if something breaks, I'll just re-verify the game uh, via Steam. But if you've not got a Steam copy, then well, I literally don't know what you do. I guess you've got a disc. I don't know how these things work. So that's it. Have a mess about and uh, try it out. Thanks for watching, stay tuned uh, for more spin tyres, and uh, drive safe.